Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Super Mario Galaxy. Got a few, um, what's it called? Purple coin comets to go get. And actually, I might just check where they are so I know what I'm going into. Yes, I want to see the map. Okay, switch. Okay, we have Deep Dark, Freeze Flame, and Ghostly Galaxy. I might do Deep Dark or Ghostly Galaxy. I think I can do Ghostly Galaxy. So I think I'll go do that one now. Nope, too far that way. The gravity won't pull me back in. And neither will the camera. Because when you triple jump, you go straight forward. And you can't turn. Okay, Ghost of the Galaxy, purple coins. And there's two comets, apparently, that I needed here. I've already brush lit, like, briefly alluded to the other one. Last time. Purple coins in the bone pen. And this one is timed, so we're actually going to have to be very quick about getting these purple coins. There are more than enough to get, so we need to go quickly. And not have to worry about getting all of them. Just need to fling ourselves around a whole lot, trying to get as many as possible. And it's not really the worst thing to be knocked out of the sky and fall down. Because it means you can go get coins in other places. And you have to kind of fling yourself around some of these corners to actually get some of these purple coins. We're halfway there and we have half the time left. So I need to hurry up because I have to grab the star as well before the timer runs out. Okay, don't die, please. Grab all those. Okay, time's almost up. We need to get to the middle again, now that we've got all 100 coins. Oh, please don't bounce me, thank you. And there we go. Okay. Very nice. Let's save and let's check the map again. Because we also need to go see Luigi in Good Egg Galaxy since he's there right now. According to this picture message on top of the house. Okay. So let's go say hello. Eh. Eh. It's been a while since we actually did that much. Well, we, we did a bit of stuff in this, this dome recently. Okay. Good Egg Galaxy. Where is he? First one. So obviously, we know a very quick way to get up there, so why not do that? You came to save me again. I knew I could count on you, bro. Wow, the power star? Yeah, I got it right here. There we go, we did it. Like, I know you're supposed to go through the pipe, but this is just funny how quickly you can get it. Hurry up and take that power star back. Okay, cool. Goodbye. Okay, that was... I was not expecting the... It's me, Luigi, as we were doing that. Like, I knew he was gonna pose, but... <laughs> just the extra... line of... It's me, Luigi, as that's happening. He's just too funny, and I can't... I can't not... I cannot not laugh. Anyway, we've got some, uh... 
comets to go take care of. So let's head over to Ghost of the Galaxy again and get that one done. Because it's a Daredevil run of uh, the Boldergeist. And I didn't, I took two hits last time. So I can't do that again. And that's the re this, this, this is the reason that I wanted to not get a life shroom for that the first time because I wanted to know what I was doing basically. You know, see how well I could do it if I could do it without damage the first time, but I don't know. It didn't really work out. Daredevil Comet in orbit! Hold a guy, stare devil run. I guess it's good that it tells you that there's a comet there because you might not want to do any of the comets. But, yeah. I think it's fine. When I first played this game, I didn't do any of the comets. But that was a long time ago. Okay, let's do that. Two hits straight off the bat. Not missed. And I'm dead. I should probably pay attention to dodging things since there's a daredevil run. I probably don't want to do the up close and personal strategy of star bits. Okay, I believe in myself. I can do this. If I just let him throw his rocks at me in a Donkey Kong 64 dodging style, do that and do the same amount of things with all of my star bits and not taking any damage. Oh, hello. Gotta take out these rocks so that they're not in the way. It's kind of the important thing. There we go, and of course that one just goes away, which is unfortunate because I need it. There we go. Now for phase two of the hands. And I might actually try getting up close and personal, but I just need a little bit more star bits for that. Because I want to take out all of the rocks that he spawns, if I can. There we go. I don't know where the other one went. I think it just went, which is unfortunate, but that's okay. I'm going to work with this. No, boulder. I missed one. I mean, it's a good strategy. I just need to actually pay attention to how many boulders or rocks I take out before trying to get him. It just didn't seem it was going to work because the first round with the hands, one of them, one of the, one of the boos, just bomb boos went away. And that's just unfortunate. But anyway, I think I might actually be able to do my, my strategy of shooting a rock a little bit earlier. If I, yeah, like that. If I, if it's on the last hit of a, a phase, then I'll do that. So the third boo in the hitting his main body. So I like how many star bits it just gives you at the, the beginning of the second phase. Oh dear, this is bad. Hit him, hit him, yes! I don't think that counted as twice, but I really hope it did. Because that'd be useful. It might have, but I don't think it- I think it was too close together to actually count. Oh, this is bad. This is very bad. Nope, it did actually count as two. That's really good. Now I just need to get this last hit in, and there we go.
Very nice. Getting close to that. Star bit. Um. I don't know what to call it. Here's the, here's the map. Okay, we can actually go into Beach Ball Galaxy. And actually goes to the galaxy because that actually has another secret star left to get there. So let's do that. While we're here anyway. Very spooky sprint. We need to get a secret star here. I'm pretty sure I know where the, the, which way to go to get it, so let's launch ourselves. And now, just going up here to this shiny rock. Ow. Let's launch star away. Far, far, far away. Oh, it's this. Okay, I thought this was, I didn't know, I didn't think this was in this game. But apparently it is. It's confusing sometimes when there are two galaxy games, but I mean, that's fine. I'll go away. Grab this coin, we're just make, gonna make this go. It's a bit like Matter Splatter Galaxy, where we need to stay on the bit that's actual, vi actually visible, because the rest of it is, it's there, but it's just not there. Star bits, not worth it. <laughs> Since I don't even need that much anyway. Okay. Let's... Oh, is this uh... No, don't go that way. This way. Okay. This way. And now we need to grab keys, because they open up these doors. And now, this entire area is going to start going up. So let's do that and follow along with this key collection. Oh dear, where am I going? That way? Yes. And then... A little bit further back, and up we go! Grab that key, which is going to open up these three doors. We can grab that one up. Now, where am I going? This way. The only thing that really matters out of those three doors down there was the, um... The one up. Now, I'm pretty sure this door in the middle here is one I need, but it... There we go. It opens up last. There we go. And galaxy complete. Very nice. We will eventually complete an entire dome, but at the moment we still need more comets to appear and stuff. So, looks like we should probably do one of those purple coins. Uh, I think I'll do Gusty Garden because that one's... Probably which no this yeah the gusty guard one is definitely the harder one. So let's do that one. In the bedroom. And I'm not even I'm not even trying to make a dirty joke, that's just where it is. It just sounds wrong saying it like that, I'm sorry. And I had to point out that it sounded wrong saying it like that. Oh my gosh. Okay. Purple Comet in orbit. It's good that they actually tell you which ones have things. Purple coins on the puzzle cube. Because, yeah, you might not want to have a thing. I think I mentioned that on the previous thing, but I forgot because of everything. Well, I think I thought that I forgot and I thought I re remembered, but I don't know, I already did that. But anyway, we have to collect purple coins, and we only have a limited time. So let's go. I don't know if there's exactly a hundred, or if there's a little bit more than that. I think there's more. So let me just go with whatever works, and collect as many as possible. 
I love this song. Da -da. Da -da -ba -da -da. This is out of time, isn't it? So good. So good. Oh, this bit here is annoying because it's such a small area for you to stand on and you can't change the camera. Why can you not change the camera? You can kind of jump and spin to try and stay up, but I don't think you want to actually collect many coins over here. There are better places to go get coins. Like over here. I love this song. I think it's Gusty Garden Galaxy, but also it's a different theme on it. Okay, we're doing well. I just need more than this. There are quite a few over here, but it's difficult to stand on top of these hedges, so... I say that, but I'm still managing to do it fairly alright. Just need a, t a few more coins, and then we'll be good. Oh, please. I wonder how many are in the center of this planet. Probably none, but I, I kind of want to check. Anyway, let's go that, and there we go. I'm just going to check how many are in the middle of the planet, and I'm hopefully not going to run out of time by doing so. Oh, uh, there is none here. Cool. Let's get to that star before it disappears. Or, well, well, I die. That's the one. It doesn't disappear. I just die. I disappear. There we go. It seems to be weird with the... The comets are always on the second star. For some reason. It just keeps alternating between there's comets, there's no comets, there's comets, there's no comets. Okay, well, I think I should head back to Beach Ball since there's still another star there. Gusty Garden, Breeze Flame, Dusty Dune. I actually might be able to complete this dome by doing those ones, but I'm going to finish up the kitchen first since that one's pretty much almost done. And actually, if I can... I'm going to go up this way, because I think this way is actually faster than going up. Yeah, that one, that's a lot faster by doing that instead of going around the main bit. But it's only, it's only quicker depending on which way you're going from. Okay, beach ball. And I actually think there might be another comet for this one. The Secret Undersea Cavern. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure there's going to be another comet for this particular star. Anyway, let's head down through the water. And I actually need to hold a direction that actually makes me go down. Oh, please grab a shell. And now, if I can actually see where I'm going, let's shoot this giant crack in the wall here, allowing us to go up. Oh, stop crashing, Mario, please. Mario.exe not responding. Okay, there we go. Some bats, or a bat here. But we're just going to ignore it. And let's go and ground pound on this and launch ourselves over to this planet that's just been over here the whole time. This place is interesting because it has a lot of thwomps. Or is it? Yes, thwomps on it. Oh, wow. And these things, which are kind of like... Kind of like the blocks in Super Mario 64 and Shifting Sandland. Where you need to be on the correct side to get being inside of it, because it's only got one face, one of its six faces, that has a hole in it. But obviously, if you're standing up against a object that can crush you, um, it does not end well, because it just crushes you when you're on the outside, just not even underneath it. So, if I was 
I, I was nearly crushed myself again by being too close to that. But I think if I'm clever enough, I can actually just wait for this to go up here, like up to here, and then jump around, and then I'm fine. I don't even have to worry about that. Also, if you fall off of this thing at all, you go through this water thing that just pulls you straight into the um, the the black hole. So it's a bit strange how it comes out of the black hole and goes into the other one. But I mean, it's cool for what it is. There's the star over there. But we need to actually get there, which I'm going to go this way for. Oh, please get in there. Thank you. Take a little shortcut there, which is really good. Now, take another little shortcut across here. And we're pretty much good. So, let's grab the star. Blue Mario. Beach ball is not completed yet, so I'm guessing there is another comet there for that particular one. I, I, I did think there was. His map. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Let's go do it now, since it's right there. Fast foe comet. And also, so this is a secret star. What? <laughs> where, where did I miss that? I don't even know. Oh, well. Fast foe comet in orbit. Fast foes on the Cyclone Stone. So remember this? They're faster now. I love this, like they reuse this level in Super Mario Galaxy 2 as a throwback to this game. And I love how that one has, like it starts off at this speed, I think, or maybe not. Maybe it doesn't. But I think it actually has a faster than this version. Oh, I'm gonna mess up everything. <laughs> there's a, there's, you can you can take that as a shortcut. I'm just bad at it apparently. Yeah, I think it's faster in Super Mario Galaxy 2 when they have this throwback. This one. Oh, please land on that. Thank you. Okay, just wait for that one to go away, and then go go opposite direction of it, which is really bad because it will catch up to you very quickly. And I don't think you can make that jump to there, so I'm gonna go over this way. Oh, go fast, go fast. And actually don't slow down. Slow down now. Okay, good. Just need to be a little bit more careful in some parts. Okay, good. Just have to get past this last thwomp. And there we go. Maybe it doesn't get faster. Maybe it's just the same speed in Super Mario Galaxy 2. I don't know. I can't remember. I just remember it was fast, which I guess this one was also fast, so. Now, I think I'm not even going to check the star map this time. I'm just going to go back into Beach Ball and figure out which star I missed and how. Okay, Wh which which star is it in? It's probably a Hungry Luma that I activated a while ago, but I don't remember, so... The Undersea Cavern? Isn't that... the one I just did? Yeah, what? What? What, 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 what? So where is the secret? Oh, is it in that chest that was down there? Because there's a secret treasure chest down there. And see, a secret, I mean like, secret, but like... Still, what's in this treasure chest? It's a one-up, okay. So I don't think it's in the undersea cavern, because that leads straight to the planet. But I don't think there's a... a thing there. So where am I going? I don't remember this at all. Which is surprising, because I remember a lot about this game. 
So maybe it's a secret thing in a different area. Like if I go up here, there might be another secret, maybe. Because I know there's this pipe here, but I don't know if that's actually what I need. I don't think it is. Also, the camera is just all wobbly. Like we're underwater or something. Wow, I just broke all those blocks for no reason. I'm pretty sure this is just the star bits, yeah. There we go. So where is this thing? What am I missing? And where? There's another treasure chest. Maybe they have to open up a specific treasure chest. And then there's another planet which is completely made of water, right? Right? Maybe? Hang on. I'm just gonna... Oh, over there. Yeah, that, that, I remember that one now. I just have to actually figure out how to get there. Oh, don't go, go, go down, please. Check this treasure chest. Nope, that's a bubble. Ow. So then, is it over... over here? No. It's definitely this mission, because that, that was where the... It's, this is where the, um, the question mark was. So maybe I'm just looking at the wrong... looking in the wrong direction for where this thing is. Shells are harder than rocks. <laughs> I don't uh, uh, okay. Sure, let me swim over this way. I'm sure I can figure this out, I just don't know how I'm gonna figure it out. Uh, oh wait, 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 it's this chest here. Ha, oh, my goodness. Of course it is. Oh my goodness. Controls? Controls are being weird right now. Can't figure out which way's up and which way's down. That's okay. Let's take the shell over to that treasure chest, now that I remember it. I remember that somebody else that I watched played this didn't remember where that was. But anyway. And the fact that I- oh my goodness, camera. The fact that I remember that means that I should have remembered that. Better than that. Anyway, let's go. So, let's get this cataquack all the way over here. Follow me, cataquack, to your destiny. Which probably means I'm gonna spray you with Yoshi and then you're gonna die. Oh, cataquack, 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 what are you doing? Don't, don't jump in the water, I don't think you can survive that. But anyway, if we grab this coin, it a activates a ice flower for us. Which means we can do really cool stuff with it. Like, going over here and then... Jumping between waterfalls. Absolutely amazing. But we need to go quickly because it's gonna run out soon. And we need to get a fair way up to actually get to where we need to go. So let's do that. Okay, we're good now. We just need to get this other Cataquack over to the star now. Cataquack. Follow me. And you'll be in a world of pure imagination. I killed it? Question mark? I will if I keep moving right now. Oh, stop moving, Mario. Mario, what are you doing? The sliding is too strong. Also, I need to get a new ice flower now. Okay. Let's try this again. Okay, Cataquack, follow me. Cataquack, why are you doing this to yourself? Well, so if I could stop moving, that'd be great, but that's not gonna happen apparently, and my ice has just disappeared. I didn't realize my ice could just disappear like that. Cool. Let's try this again. Ah! Cataquack, follow me. And don't leave me behind. 
Just don't leave me. Oh, follow, 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 follow. Okay, launch me. There we go. That was a lot more work than it needed to be. But there we go. And that should be everything in Beach Ball now. Which means this dome is complete. And there we go. But anyway, that is it for this episode. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.